and welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. OK, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game and each of you will need to choose adult or junior questions. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need to do then is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual £1 million. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50 and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by entering our competition. So grab your remote control and let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Great, you're having a go at the entertainment questions. Fifteen of them stand between you and a virtual million pounds. The first five of those questions can bank you a guaranteed thousand pounds. Let's kick things off with a one hundred pound question. Well done, you've won one hundred pounds. £200 if you can get this right. Well done, two out of two for you. Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. You wouldn't want to give me a wrong answer at this stage, would you? And you haven't. Well done. Question number four is for 500 quid. Well done. Four correct answers in a row now for you. You can guarantee yourself £1,000 if you can answer this question. Well done. You've made it to the first milestone. That's what I like to see. Five correct answers and £1,000 safely in the bank. This is where things hot up a little bit, though, as we try and turn that £1,000 into at least £32,000. Here comes question number six. Now, remember, you still have all three lifelines remaining. Is that your final answer? You had £1,000. You just won £2,000. It's the correct answer. Well played. Very well done. You've yet to touch any of your three lifelines and a correct answer here will win you £4,000. Lots of luck. Here comes the question. Very well done. That's the right answer. You've just won £4,000. Well, I like games like this. You're on £4,000 and you have all three of your lifelines still intact. You are just three questions away from the next milestone. And the first of those questions is worth £8,000 and is coming up now. Aha! Audience, time for you to get involved and help win us a bit of cash. Have a look at the question and vote A, B, C or D on your keypads or vote now. I have a feeling you might go for C looking at those results. OK, let's see if going 50-50 will help. The computer is going to take away two wrong answers and leave you with just the two to choose from. Well, you had £4,000. You now have £8,000. Good use of your 50-50.
OK, things are getting a little bit more serious now. £16,000 is a lot of money. And that's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to 7000 So think carefully before you give me an answer. You had £8,000. You just doubled it to £16,000. Well done. OK, let's pause for breath. You have £16,000. Get this next question wrong and you will lose 15000 of that and leave us with just 1000 However, get the question right and you'll be guaranteeing yourself £32,000. You can use your only remaining lifeline, your phone a friend, if you don't know the answer. Lots of luck. Here comes that question. Are you sure you want to risk all that money? If this is right, you've won £32,000. It is right, you're assured of a big win. So, you must be feeling pretty pleased with yourself, and rightly so. £32,000 is now the very least amount you'll be leaving the game with. and We'd love you to turn that into £64,000. You can do that by giving me the correct answer to this next question. You still have one lifeline available should you need it. Lots of luck, here it comes. I know you have nothing to lose, but are you sure that is the answer you want to go with? I really hope this is the right answer. I can tell you, it is the right answer. You've just won £64,000. Right, things are going really well. Amazing how quickly you can turn 32000 into sixty-four. But let's just calm down a bit. The next question is worth one hundred. And £25,000, a huge amount of money. You do not have to play this question, but you've still got a phone a friend lifeline available should you need it. Here we go, the very best of luck. It's not often people get to play this question. You could be about to lose £32,000. Of course, you could be about to win £125,000. And you have. It's the right answer. Very well played. Did you really think when you started out that you get to the point where I would be asking you a question for £250,000? Probably not, but it is about to happen. Please, please do not give me a wrong answer and phone a friend if you aren't totally sure of your answer. Let's see what happens as we look at question number 12. You're playing for very big money here, so is that your final answer? Right, this is serious business. You've just decided to play on a question for a quarter of a million pounds. I can tell you. It's the right answer. You are a quarter of a millionaire. Well, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual check for £500,000, but only if you can answer this next question. I must say, I love it when people play these big questions. You had £250,000. You now have £500,000. Fantastic!
Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone the million pound question without them having already used up all of their lifelines, but you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. Let's hope in just a few moments time, we will all be celebrating. Here comes your 15th and final question. The Australian soap Neighbours celebrated which anniversary in 2005? 15th, 20th, 25th, 30th. So you've chosen to phone one of your friends, now choose one of them to help you. That's a hard one. I don't know the answer, but I'll have a go. The best answer I can think of is C. Maybe go for C. Well, that could have confused you even more. It seems to be like you either take their guess, have a guess yourself, or walk away. And I have to check that you are really going to play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you've decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead you are walking away with one million pounds. You're a winner, fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all expensive paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?